What are you doing? I am doing a project. Project for what? Yeah. It's a project on human embryonic development. Is that your problem? This is very simple, man. You will not understand. What are you talking about? I am a medical doctor and I know what human embryonic development means. Hmm. This is a project on comparative religion. How? I mean, how do they want you to do it? Let me read out the question for you. Explain the concept of human embryonic development in the light of Islam. Oh, okay, okay. But this is very simple, man. Did you just say simple? Yes, I mean, it's very simple. Just let them know that there's nothing like that in Islam. Are you, are you kidding me? Are you really serious? Yes, I am very, very serious. How did they want to talk about a field of science that was only discovered in recent time? Let me tell you something very important and make so sure you don't forget in your life. No problem. I hope it will be beneficial. Allah said in the Holy Quran, in Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse 43, and I quote, First, Alu Ahale Dikri in Kuntum La Ta'alamu. Translated meaning, So, ask those who possesses knowledge if you do not know. Thank you very much. I think you have a point there. Now that you quoted me this verse from the Quran, what did Islam say about the human embryonic development? That was the question I was expecting from you. I am sorry. But seriously, I will find it very strange if this concept is really found in the Quran. <laughs> then get ready for it, inshallah. Okay, okay. Let me tell you some real story that happened some 40 years ago. A group of Arab students stood up and gathered all the Quranic verses and the hadith that talks about embryology in the form of data and they translated it into english and they presented it to professor kitmu at that time professor kitmu is the highest in authority in the field of what embryology and he was the head of the department of anatomy in the university of toronto in canada after he went through all the Quranic verses and the hadith presented to him by the student. These are his words. He said most of the verses of the Quran which speak about the embryology are in perfect conformity with the latest advancement of the field of embryology. After that, he said, if truly this is from the Quran, a book written in the 6th century, then this can never be from a man because the field of embryology is a new field of science that only started recently. And finally, he said, I have no objection in agreeing that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was the messenger of God Almighty. Wow, wow. In fact, indeed, I'm really dumbfounded. Remember, he's a Christian. Are you saying that there are verses from the Quran that talks about human embryonic development? Of course, and I'm going to enlighten you at this very moment. Look, any time you explain to me concepts like this and extract verses from the Quran to establish your point, I feel like I should go back to medical college. Don't worry, <laughs> you are still a medical doctor. Okay, thank you very much. Now, let me start from the verse in the Quran that explain the stages of human embryonic development. Let me get my pen and paper. Let me get my pen and paper. Good idea. God Almighty said in the glorious Quran, in Surah Al-Mu'minun, chapter number 23, verse 12 to 14. And I quote, ثم جعلناه نطفة في قرار مكين ثم خلقنا النطفة علقة فخلقنا العلقة مدغة فخلقنا المدغة عزاما فكسونا العزام لحما ثم أنشعناه خلقا آخر فتبارك الله أحسن للخالقين Translated meaning We God created man from an extract of clay 
Then we made him as a drop in the place of settlement. Firmly fixed. Then we made the drop into an alaka. Alaka is what? Leech, su suspended thing, and blood clothes. Then we made the alaka into modogo, chilled substance. Then develop the cloth into a lump of flesh. Then develop the lump into bones. Then clothe the bones with flesh. Then we brought it into being as a new creation. So blessed is Allah, the best of creators. Wait, 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 wait. Give me the Quran. Let me confirm by myself. I think I have a copy of the Quran. Take. This is ridiculous. This is strange. You said which verse again? Surah al Muminun, chapter number 23, verse 12 to 14. This can't be true. What? Relax, relax, relax. Hmm. Let me explain further. The Arabic word alaka has three meanings. One, a leech. Two, suspended thing. And three, blood clothes. Moduga means chewed substance. Embryology scientists have observed that the usage of this term in describing the formation of the embryo is accurate and conformity with our current scientific understanding of the development process. Hey, look, brother, I agree with you. Absolutely. No doubt about that. So you see how Islam dealt with natural phenomenon. Yes, brother. I think I need this your research after you are done. Just give me a copy. Don't worry. I will surely give you. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Please subscribe to your YouTube channel and be part of this awesome family for more amazing videos and educative videos. Much love. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.